Premier League action returns this Friday, and in this instalment of the Players to Watch series, we'll be taking a look at four players to consider for your FPL team over the next five game weeks, between game week 27 and game week 31. Aubameyang boasts an impressive record against teams outside of the top six this season, returning 13 goals and five assists from 17 matches, and averaging 7.6 points per game. The 29-year-old directly contributed to seven goals in his last eight league outings, and his total of 19 shots inside the box was behind only Mitrovic, Barnes and Rashford amongst forwards. A tally of eight big chances for the Gabonese striker in that time was bettered by only Salah and Barnes across all positions. Arsenal have won three of their last four league matches, losing only to Man City. Their total of 11 goals scored in the last six game weeks can only be bettered by the league leaders. There are some more tricky fixtures to come for the Gunners, and they'll be without a fixture in game week 31, but the next two home fixtures are hard to ignore. Southampton have conceded 22 goals in eight matches against the top six this season, at an average of 2.75 per game. No side have allowed opponents more big chances in the last four away matches than Bournemouth, while only Chelsea have conceded more goals. And Nautovic made a return from injury against Crystal Palace in game week 26, and comes back onto the radar for West Ham's kind run of fixtures, as a potential alternative to Felipe Anderson. No West Ham teammate has been involved in more big chances, or fired as many goal attempts as the Austrian international this season, and he's taken an average of 1.2 shots on target per game compared to Felipe Anderson's average of 0.7. The Hammers have only scored three goals from six big chances in the last five game weeks, facing home ties with Arsenal and Liverpool in that time, but they've netted a total of 29 goals in 18 matches against teams outside of the top six this season, at an average of 1.6 per game. They have a very kind schedule over the next six game weeks, including a home fixture against Huddersfield in game week 31, when a number of teams see their matches postponed due to the FA Cup. The Terriers have conceded 22 goals this season, with only Cardiff and Fulham shipping more, and all three teams face West Ham in the next five game weeks. Mane found his 12th league goal of the season during the win over Bournemouth in game week 26, and he's now scored in each of the last four game weeks, averaging eight points per game over that spell. No midfielder took more efforts on target or from inside the box during that period, while only Pogba and Sterling returned more than his 32 FPL points. Liverpool have scored 10 goals across the last five game weeks, with only Wolves and Man City producing more, while only Man United and Man City have fired more than their 30 efforts on target. The Reds face a trip to Fulham in game week 31, and their assets will be especially important for those looking to navigate the blank game week without using a chip. Only Chelsea have conceded more goals than Fulham in the last five game weeks, while only Chelsea and Brighton have allowed opponents more big chances than Everton. Watford, meanwhile, have faced 25 efforts on target in the last four away matches, with only Arsenal allowing more. Pereira recorded his eighth attacking return of the season with an assist against Spurs last game week, producing a total of four attempted assists during the game. Amongst defenders, only Robertson, Alonso and Holobas have registered more than his six assists, while only Holobas has provided more FPL involvements. Leicester have failed to win any of their last five matches, but they faced three of the top four sides in the last three game weeks. Despite conceding eight goals over that period, only five teams allowed opponents fewer efforts on target than the Foxes, while only Southampton, Liverpool, Spurs and Man City conceded fewer big chances. Leicester don't face a single top six side over the next nine game weeks, with Crystal Palace, Brighton and Fulham the next three teams to visit the King Power Stadium. Fulham have scored only three goals in their last six away matches, with only Huddersfield and Bournemouth managing fewer. No side have taken fewer than Watford's 14 efforts on target during the same period. 